Details are emerging in a Beaver Dam apartment explosion from last year. Keely Arthur has the police documents which give new insight into the event. There's a snow covered lot where the apartment complex once stood, but reminders remain of the March events. A year later, though, police still not sure of a motive. When the explosion hit, it was just basically like a dumpster got dropped in the backyard. It was just like the windows all shook. Stephen Twardokas of Volweg Turf and Leisure remembering the March 5th explosion that happened just a stone's throw away. Every once in a while, somebody comes in and says, Wow, it was right back there. Almost one year later, the Beaver Dam Police Department releasing new video and documents. The biggest revelation on the man police say was behind it all, Benjamin Morrow, who died after accidentally detonating the explosives he was making inside his apartment. What we do know is that he was a quiet, uh, introverted type person. Police interviews with co-workers at Richie Lou Foods reveal Morrow made references to the Parkland shooting. The 28-year-old told one fellow employee, quote, don't worry, you'll be the first to get out of here. He often smelled of mothballs, a scent closely linked to one of the dangerous chemicals he was working with, and was seen playing shooting games on his computer. But why he was making the explosives and what he planned to do with it remains unclear. We don't know why. Um, Everything to this point is speculation and conjecture because we don't have a really good grasp on his motive at all. One positive, since the event, police say the community has learned to be more vigilant in reporting odd remarks or things that seem out of place. Even the smallest peculiarity of something could lead to something as, as big and tragic as this event. Following the explosion, authorities conducted their own explosion and controlled burn of the entire complex to get rid of the dangerous chemicals. Tordokas says with time, he hopes some of the memories of it all will vanish too. I think some of the stuff they don't want us to know and probably better off we don't know. Police say they interviewed Murrow's family about this and they are just as confused, if not more, heartbroken over what happened. In Beaver Dam, Keely Arthur, News 3 Now. Quick